good morning you guys i look how i feel horrible this is part two of my video i am two days post op it's my second day right because i had the surgery yesterday was my first day so this is my second day post op and the pain is bearable but it's very uncomfortable um I'm walking right now. The Percocets got me itching. So when I go in for my massage today at 2.30, they gotta give me a different prescription because I can't take them Percocets. I think I'm having like a allergic reaction. With that being said, I just been taking Tylenol. Um, my husband is walking with me. I got my Faha on. And I just got like a little top on. Um, it's very uncomfortable sleeping on my stomach because I had lipo as well. So my stomach hurts, but I have to sleep on my stomach. I can't sleep on my side because of my hips. And I didn't get like no Nick Minaj booty or nothing like that. I got like a natural look where I got the poke and stuff. So it's not like crazy. Um, it look bigger right now because I'm swollen. But from what my doctor said, um, it's going to go down a little bit. And I had Dr. Willis. She was very, very, very sweet and nice. Um, the most uncomfortable part is trying to pull yourself up out the bed. Because these boards inside my, um, let's see if you can see the boards. And it's like very tender. Um, my stomach is tender. My back is tender. My booty and my hips are tender. So, um, yeah. So I've been drinking plenty of water. I've been drinking plenty of water. Um, yeah, and walking. Walking is the key from what I was told to ease up some of the pressure. Yeah, to ease up some of the pressure. So right now we're just walking around like the hotel. Um, babe, what would be your experience with this? Like, what would you say? I'm gonna let him talk to y'all because, so the caretakers that y'all take with y'all can know what to expect when having this procedure done. All I can say really is just, just be ready to go. If you're gonna be a caretaker, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a 24 hour job. It's not hard, you just pretty much just be there for the women even a surgery man, woman, whatever. Uh, this is a total new experience. I mean, after the gastric bypass, I want to say like, this is harder than that. I think it's harder than the pregnancy too. So, like I say, it's been a good experience for me. We're not done yet, but um, I'm here for it. Yeah, so I'm having another procedure. It's already scheduled for January because I have to get skin tightening on my arm because after my gastric bypass, I, um, I have a lot of loose skin from losing all that weight. Um, so I'm gonna get skin tightening and um, a tummy tuck. I couldn't have everything done at one time because they said it would have been too much on my body especially because I'm a gastric bypass patient. But it's scheduled for January 17th. Um, and then after that, I, I should be done with everything, y'all. Don't quote me, because I also want to get my teeth done. But I don't feel like my teeth gonna be near as bad as this. But it's like a year, maybe a two year process, three year, all together because I had to wait a year for after gastric bypass. To have another surgery so i say hey in the next three years everything will be done that i want done and i'll be done with everything um do i recommend the bbl it just depends on how strong you are to be honest because everybody tolerate everybody tolerate pain differently you know and it is what it is if you can, if you want your body a certain type of way, then do it. 
don't not do it because other people are telling you not to do it. Let it be your own thought. You know, let it be something that you really want. Don't not do it because somebody say, oh, you don't need that. You know, people gonna tell you what you don't need all the time. Go off of your own opinion. If you wanna have it done, have it done. Um, I can't wait to see my after results. I'm gonna show y'all which one. I'm gonna show y'all when I get back in the room what I look like in my faha. And then probably at my 10 day post op, I'll show y'all what my butt look like. Um, like I said, I went for a natural look. I didn't get all the extraness. Um, my doctor said if I want the extraness, I can come back and have a second round. But from what I'm looking at, I'm fine the way I am because I'm so skinny now. My booty is where it needs to be. Huh? I'm talking about the lizard. Oh, the lizard. But yeah, it is painful. If some, but like I said, everybody tolerate pain differently. So I'm going to, when I get in the room, I'll show y'all what it looks like. I'll be back. So this is day three post-op. I'm still in Miami. I'm gonna get out the house today and go walk around. I'm not in as much pain as I was in, but I don't know how long I'm gonna stay out. I'm gonna try to stay out a couple of hours um, and move around before I get too tired. This sun is beaming, beaming, beaming. But I'm still not gonna show y'all my body yet just because I'm not ready to, but yeah. So y'all, we out at the beach. No, I am not in the water. I cannot get in the water. My sister Amar, but I'm not. I'm just standing here getting my feet wet. It's really pretty. The water feel really good. It is so warm. I keep hearing messages. Everybody keep asking me to show my butt. No, not right now. Y'all gotta wait till my photo shoot. But yeah, it's so pretty out here, y'all. Period. Period. Look at that glow. What's up, y'all? So this is day four post-op, and I'm feeling good. We in the car, finna go get something to eat and stuff. I'm still in Miami. All right, y'all. So we went to Trick Daddy Restaurant, and we haven't ate our food yet because we're going to eat it on the boat. But this blue Kool-Aid slush, whatever the heck, this shit is busting. Busting. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all ain't never seen no restaurant load your food up like this. All right, y'all. So I'm going to close out this video. This video is day two, three, and four. I am in my room. I am obviously still laying down. Um, I was in a lot of pain. I thought I did a lot of... I wasn't in pain. I was it's more discom discomfort. Um, I didn't take no pain medicine today, no Percocets, no nothing. Um, I ate, um, but I still can't eat a lot because I'm still a gastric bypass patient. So as much as other people can eat, I still can't eat that much. Um, but when I did get in the room, I took a shower, I washed my faha, and I finally ate. And I just had to take some, I just took some Tylenol, um, because I want to say I don't really I don't really need the Percocet. It's not that much pain like that. Um, but it is a lot of discomfort. I got Bay. I got, I don't know if y'all can see him. He over here. So yeah, Bay. Over here, about to go to sleep. Y'all, he has been my rock. Like he has taken very, very, very my nurse. He has taken very good care of me. I'm in a nurse partition. I went to um, Miami, Mia. University <laughs> <laughs> and learn how to be a nurse partition. I can say the biggest pain I felt was the first couple of days and the massages. The massages hurt it really, really bad. But yeah, I'm in the bed. I'm feeling ready to go to sleep. And I have my next massage tomorrow. So I'm going to see if they're going to let me record it. And then. You can see that booty. <laughs> no, I'm not going to let y'all see it. 